pupils. I'm so happy to see you today. I'm Teacher Marian, your grade 4 Math Dali buddy. Wear your beautiful smile and remember, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Multiplication is repeated addition Starting with 1 will go up to 10 Sing it with us till you can do it by yourself Come on, let's go! 6 times table 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 2 is 12 6 times 3 is 18 6 times 4 is 24 6 times 5 is 30 6 times 6 is 36 6 times 7 is 42 6 times 8 is 48 6 times 9 is 54 6 times 10 is 60 6 times table Get ready with your pen and paper because today we're going to a math adventure Let's go to our math amazing classroom Come on, Anna Antonio. Let's go to our math amazing classroom and see the progress of our room. Teacher, Tonio is not sick anymore. He's now able to join us in fixing our math amazing classroom. Welcome back, Tonio. I'm so happy to see you again. What would you like to fix today? Thank you, teacher. Hmm. Let's start with the cabinet. Good choice, Tonyo. What are we waiting for? Let's start. Welcome, Math Lily Buddies. I am Math Thinker MJ, your companion in this Math Lily venture. You are trying to access an off-limit area. To make this accessible, you have to get ready with your pen and paper because it's drill time. Now, let's look back at your previous lesson before you start a new and exciting one with Teacher Marian, Anna, and Tonyo. Are you ready? A bus and report! Set A. Change the following mixed numbers to improper fractions. You have 5 seconds each question. Question number 1. 3 and 2 over 5. If your answer is 17 over 5, math amazing! Question number 2. 4 and 1 over 6. If your answer is 25 over 6, correct! Question number 3. 6 and 2 over 7. If your answer is 44 over 7, math terrific! Set B. Change the following improper fractions to mixed numbers. You have 5 seconds each question. Question number 1. 9 over 2. If your answer is 4 and 1 over 2, Math Kaleem. Question number 2. 16 over 5. If your answer is 3 and 1 over 5, Math Husay. Question number 3. 24 over 7. If your answer is 3 and 3 over 7, math amazing! Congratulations! Access granted! You are ready to learn your new lesson. Comprehend the lesson with teacher Marian to unlock new learnings. Good luck, Mathali buddies! 
Math Galing! I am happy that together with Math Thinker MJ, you were able to change improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa using your big brain energy! Now that we have unlocked the cabinet, we have to fix the things inside it. To be able to do that, we need to accomplish our objective for today. We need to learn how to change fractions to lowest terms. I am so excited to learn that, teacher! It's nice to hear that you're all excited to learn this. This calls for another Magdalene Venture! A fraction is written in lowest term when its numerator and denominator have no common factors other than one. To change or reduce fractions to lowest terms, divide both the numerator and the denominator by their GCF or greatest common factor. We can simplify fractions by using these three magic steps. How to change 2 over 24 in lowest term? Magic step number 1. Find the GCF of 2 and 24 by listing method. List down the factors of 2 and 24. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Magic step number 2. Look for the greatest common factor of 2 and 24. The greatest common factor of 2 and 24 is 2. Magic step number 3. Divide both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. Since the greatest common factor of 2 and 24 is 2, divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. The answer is 1 over 12. Let us have more examples. Let's find the lowest term of 2 over 4. Magic step number 1. List down the factors of 2 and 4. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. The factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. Magic step number 2. Look for the greatest common factor of 2 and 4. The GCF of 2 and 4 is 2. Magic step number 3. Divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. Since the GCF of 2 and 4 is 2, divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. The answer is 1 over 2. Let's try to do this with Anna and Tonyo. Let us find the lowest term of the fraction 12 over 32. Yes, ma'am. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. The factors of 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Amazing, Tonyo! Anna, can you find the greatest common factor of 12 and 32? Yes, ma'am! The greatest common factor or GCF of 12 and 32 is 4. Now, let us divide both the numerator and denominator by 4. Can you help me do that, Anna and Antonio? Abash and Prepo! 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. The, the answer, answer is... is 3, Three over, over 8. 8. Terrific! Let's try to simplify these fractions on its lowest terms. Choose the letter of your answer by doing these actions. Clap for letter A. Snap for letter B. 
and thumbs up for letter C. I will give you five seconds to answer. Ready, Mathly buddies? A bus report. Number one. What is the lowest term of 10 over 16? A. 5 over 8 B. 3 over 9 C. 4 over 11 If you clap for letter A, you are correct! Number 2 what is the lowest term of 28 over 40? A. 7 over 9 B. 7 over 10 C. 9 over 12 If you snap, you got it right! Number 3 What is the lowest term of 9 over 15? A. 2 over 3 B. 3 over 5 C. 4 over 6 If you snap for letter B, you're masculine! Number 4 What is the lowest term of 30 over 35? A. 5 over 7 B. 10 over 15 C. 6 over 7 If you do the thumbs up for letter C, you are correct! Number 5 What is the lowest term of 25 over 60? A. 5 over 12 B. 5 over 14 C. 7 over 13 If you clap for letter A, you are certified math husay. For a better understanding, let's play a game with Anna and Tonyo. This game is called Buzz and Answer. Whoever gets the correct answer will have the chance to sing with me. I will give you 10 seconds to answer each number. Ready, Mathly buddies? A bus and report! Question number 1. What is the GCF of 4 and 10? Math Galeen! Question number 2. If you are to express 6 over 15 to its lowest term, what would it be? Two over five? Matusai! Each of you scored one point. Question number three. What is the greatest common number that can be divided to the numerator and denominator of 6 over 12? Terrific! Question number 4. What is the lowest term of 14 over 21? Two over three. Masculine! Excellent, Anna Antonio! Since you have two points each, you are certified math husay. You are given a chance to sing with me. Numbers, numbers everywhere. We can use it anywhere. Let's 
Play and explore with its wonderful numbers. Open your eyes and remember, learning mathematics is fun. It is part of our daily lives. Explore mathematics with teacher Marian. Learning math is very fun. There is joy for everyone. Math the leap. Congratulations! You have unlocked the final test for the day. Before proceeding to the final test, remember these points. To reduce a fraction to its lowest term, divide both numerator and denominator by their GCF or the greatest common factor. A fraction is in its lowest terms if the numerator and the denominator have no other common factor except one. Good luck, Mathali Buddies! Teacher, look! The first two layers of the cabinet is organized. We only have to do the final test to organize its final and third layer. For our final test, we need to solve for the lowest terms of these fractions. What is the lowest term of 25 over 45? If your answer is 5 over 9, you got it right! Can you show the solution, Anna? The factors of 25 are 1, 5, and 25. The factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and 45. The greatest common factor of 25 and 45 is 5. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. Therefore, the answer is 5 over 9. What is the lowest term of 16 over 80? If your answer is 1 over 5, Math Galing! Can you show the solution, Tonyo? The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. The factors of 80 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 16, 20, 40, 80. The greatest common factor of 16 and 80 is 16. 16 divided by 16 is equal to 1. 80 divided by 16 is equal to 5. Therefore, the answer is 1 over 5. What is the lowest term of 14 over 42? If your answer is 1 over 3, Matusai! Can you show the solution, Anna? The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7, and 14. The factors of 42 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42. The greatest common factor of 14 and 42 is 14. 14 divided by 14 is equal to 1. 42 divided by 14 is equal to 3. Therefore, the answer is 1 over 3. What is the lowest term of 54 over 60? If your answer is 9 over 10, you're Mathalino. Can you show the solution, Tonyo? The factors of 54 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. The factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. The greatest common factor of 54 and 60 
is 6. 54 divided by 6 is equal to 9. 60 divided by 6 is equal to 10. Therefore, the answer is 9 over 10. What is the lowest term of 81 over 135? If your answer is 3 over 5, you're Masalino! Can you show the solution, Anna? The factors of 81 are 1, 3, 9, 27, and 81. The factors of 135 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, 27, 45, and 135. The greatest common factor of 81 and 135 is 27. 81 divided by 27 is equal to 3. 135 divided by 27 is equal to 5. Therefore, the answer is 3 over 5. Matherific! You did a magnificent work! The cabinet is now fit and all yours to use! What a masterly venture! In changing fractions to its lowest terms, you just need to do these three magic steps. Magic step number one. Find the GCF of the numerator and the denominator by listing method. Magic step number two. Look for the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator. Magic step number three. Divide both numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. Do you want to be our masterly buddy of the day? Come on! Take a picture of yourself with the help of your parents or guardian while watching our math episodes in DepEd TV. Post it on your parents or guardian's Facebook account and use the hashtag Hashtag MathDallyBuddy4 or simply message our Facebook page MathDallyBuddy with your name and school. Keep this in mind, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Remember, basta kasama si Teacher Marian at si Math Thinker MJ ngayong second quarter, kaya yan! That's it for today, Math Dali Buddies. See you on our next math exciting and math amazing activities.